compact fluorescent light bulbs save money, but are they secretly polluting the earth and putting humans at risk? The compact fluorescent light bulb is put to the environmental test next on livinggreenchannel.com. Hey everyone, I'm Elizabeth Chambers and you're watching livinggreenchannel.com, your online video source for living an eco-friendly lifestyle. Both Australia and Canada have future bans on incandescent lights in favor of CFLs. We all know the positive side of CFLs, such as long life, up to 16 times longer than incandescent, and the potential to save between $30 and $50 per bulb versus incandescent on energy alone. And while the positives are staggering, there is one major drawback to CFLs that many consumers are unaware of. CFLs, like most fluorescent lamps, contain mercury, which is a neurotoxin and exposure is hazardous to your health if breakage occurs. Additionally, broken CFLs are harmful to the environment as the mercury can be released into lakes or oceans and build up in fish, which is the most common pathway to human exposure of mercury. CFLs must be disposed of properly at a toxic waste depot. You can find out more on how and where to dispose of your used CFLs at www.energystar.gov. If a CFL breaks in your house, since it does contain on average 5 milligrams of mercury, precautions do have to be taken. And according to GE, no immediate risk of exposure exists to you or your family if properly cleaned up. If a breakage occurs, vacate the area of pets and children, turn off central air, and ventilate the area with fresh air. For more information on how to clean up and dispose of a broken CFL, please visit gelighting.com. This is Elizabeth Chambers for livinggreenchannel.com with your eco-friendly update.